We are here with uh, the family own the owners who are the uh, family members here. We've got Hani and Andrew and Nashid. You guys have been here 27 years. 27 years. Well, tell us about the experience over these 27 decades. 27 years. Oh my gosh, we were a small deli started, you know, with three, four employees to growing to almost four times the size and serving over 500 people a day uh, at the high. We were really going crazy, going uh, catering over a thousand people. Um, almost a day with, with different hospitals, with different uh, area companies, and it was, it's was it been great. We've, we've really expanded over the last few years, and but yeah, due to COVID, of course, it's taken a little hit, but hey, we'll get through it. Well, you're 28 years old, you've been here 27 old. years, yeah. you've grown up in this place. I've What's it been like? Place. It's been I, great. I feed him here. <laughs> you feed him here, right? He go here. <laughs> <I'm> just, <I'm>... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been great. You know, uh, it's a lot, it's a big learning experience. You know, I graduated from the University of San Diego um, and have learned all the steps uh, through business and it's been a great you know family owned operated business so, you know having 12 employees it's it's an incredible thing that I really I encourage a lot of people to go through and try to try to find okay t talk to us about uh, the, you started this place you have your regulars uh, honey you eventually expanded mm -hmm. we expanded we doubled the size of this daily was in the last 27 years and because the demand it was just unbelievable I mean we started we have four tables sitting uh, and now, and sometimes when before all this started, we don't have even a chair for you to offer. <laughs> right. From how You're much so we get busy. Yeah. Um, and and it's all about the quality. What drove my business in all these years is the quality of the food. <clears throat> we never change the quality. We never cheat on quality. We love our customer dearly. That we like to provide our service to them in the best we can and more. Whatever we give him, I mean, we, we, we offer our sandwich on a, on, on a china blade with a side of salad and a cookie. And however he will come today and mention KUSI, we give him a free cookie as well. <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> mention KUSI today, free cookie for you. <laughs> That's exactly right. All right, now, you, you have a history a lot of us remember the Jeff and Jer show, Graham, the morning show that everybody, and you were on that show a lot. Can you talk to us about that? Because you were kind of the soup Nazi of the show. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> well, um, Jeff was a fun. The Jeff and Jer show, Graham, was really fun because they was playing with my accent. I have a very heavy accent and they love to hear me when I say Gabe's. And he keeps saying, what? And I say, Gabe's, Gabe's. And I will sweat because he cannot understand what the Gabe's mean. And after that, um, uh, the, the soup for every day. Every day I used to, they used to call me and they asked me, what's the soup for today? <laughs> and I used to mention every day, what's our soup for today? It's like today, for example, we have the chicken sausage gumbo. We have... Uh, the Italian wedding, we have the clam chowder. So every day we used to do, um, we still until now for the last 27 years of our business, we make four kind of soup every day. Right. And uh, um, uh, the, the fun was with Jeff and Jay that uh, they made me meet a lot of people. Um, I met the, the, the mayor uh, uh, between the... Uh, Sanders and uh, I met a lot of people with uh, their Jeff and Jer uh, welcome parties and all the stuff. And your your voicing on Jeff and Jer led to an encounter with Jerry Seinfeld. And you're going to tell our viewers in our next report about how that happened and one transpired. We'll show them the picture of you guys together. And when you said, say, gra ga Gabes, what, you want to translate that? They're grapes. So we used to talk about the fruit salad, and it, they used to ask him, what is in the fruit salad? And he used to say, instead of grapes, it was Gabes, because it was super hard to pronounce the R or P's and things like that. Right, okay, and it's an Egyptian accent, that's right? That's an yes. Egyptian accent, okay. I'm sorry. All right, that's okay, don't be sorry, we love it. All right, Honey and Andrew, hey, it's a family-owned business, 27 years. It's uh, th this, this is a great place, but it also has a personality to it. You guys are what make it happen. So we'll see you again in the uh, in the next hour. We're gonna.